we saw an epic pursuit involving First Sergeant Ray Pittman. It began after he spotted what appeared to be two cars drag racing. What turned into a pursuit lasted a little more than 15 minutes. Here are some moments from it, which we covered last night live. You can see uh, BMW Super and Color uh, still going uh, where he's on route right now. Uh, he's going to be on the right side, right side of lane, right side of lane. No, now middle, now middle. Still middle lane. Did we get Even seeing it on tape. Joining us now is the man you saw behind the wheel, First Sergeant Ray Pittman. Thank you so much for being with us. Really appreciate it. Now, considering that you were going sometimes more than 110 miles an hour, you appeared to stay so calm and collected throughout this pursuit. How were you actually feeling as it was happening? Uh, just just to keep the training and experience involved with it, just to remain, remain calm, um, not get overwhelmed with the situation, and just to uh, stay calm as possible because of the situation and uh, what was occurring. Was your family actually watching this at home? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. My, my dad actually uh, <laughs> was watching it live and happened to call my uncle and my mother into the room, at which point, uh, yeah, they, they both were watching it live yes sir i'm assuming that they were concerned uh for your safety but probably knowing that you know what you're doing right <laughs> yes sir you know we just discovered that you are also a college football line judge with the ncaa <laughs> we're showing some pictures here so we're guessing maybe you're used to working under some pressure yes it's um and a lot of people ask me you know dealing with coaches and stuff and uh, in the heat of the moment, sometimes uh, people get a little excited and they're saying, you always remain calm, you always keep your composure. And I just reflect a lot of it back to my military and law enforcement 22 years uh, as a police officer. Uh, so I just keep my composure, remain calm, and just uh, reason and rationalize with them. I, I, I gotta say, we were all, as you can imagine, uh, pretty astounded and amazed uh, by how calm you remained throughout that. We were talking about the fact that you know, you're involved in a pursuit, you also have one hand on the wheel, and you're giving real-time uh, updates as to where you are and where the vehicle is as well, which makes it that much more difficult. What do we, what do we know now about the suspect, charges, et cetera? So we ended up, uh, I ended up charging uh, the individual with kidnapping, felony eluding, felony hit and run, obstruction of justice, uh, driving suspended, drag racing uh, and reckless driving of uh, excess of 120 miles an hour. And the kidnapping charge was because the passenger had not consented, obviously, to being taken on this ride. That's correct. So when I uh, interviewed the, the passenger afterwards, I, I asked him if he felt that his life was threatened and if he, in fact, asked to be let out of the vehicle, at which point he, he told me yes to both answers. Real quick, a lot of discussion in the studio here about the vehicle that you were driving. What was it? 
Uh, that's a 2016 Chevy Caprice. That's a uh, 6.1 LS 350 Corvette motor. First Sergeant Pittman, thank you so much for coming on the program. Really appreciate it. Thank you for what you do. Um, and uh, we look forward to watching you from here uh, in the days to come. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Be safe. Sean, real quick on the car. Glad to know we know what it is now. Yeah. All right. Let's go now. More on patrol first shift.